What's up, everybody? This is Bella Mars. I'm back with another episode of Big Time Fresh. Uh, I am honored to be joined by the artist that you're hearing right now on this track. Um, we will be playing a little bit later. This is uh, Philip Good and John Stella. What's up, guys? Yo, yo, yo. How you doing? doing? Philip Good here. John Stella, thank you for having us. This is my venture into the world of we're going to start filming all of the video podcasts. So um, y'all are the first one because y'all are the most impressive. Guinea pigs. We're the guinea pigs. I like that. Come on. You're yeah. The <laughs> yeah. But with the how the um, the song came about, it, it's what Lucas told me. It was a what, debuted at 88 on the Apple top 100 songs yeah. first day came out number 88 first and honestly it should have it should have debuted higher but definitely um but last the last day we actually the funny thing is a lot of people know this we wanted we wanted to hit the iTunes charts. Oh, yeah we i went and got 200 one dollar bills and was, we were went to a mall and we're asking people to download it and no one would download it they we were going to give them their dollar back. We just couldn't get people to do it. Some I was literally, did. some people did. I feel like if I was able to hustle higher, we could have debuted like 50. Yeah, yeah, but we got, sure. we tried sure. our best. Yeah, but the, that's, that's sick, the places though. that we went to, the, the places that we went to, like we went to one place, it was kind of, went to another place, it was kind of, we did our thing, went to another place, and we did our thing, went to another place. Dead. So it was like, it was, it was kind of like 50 50. But, you know, at the same time, it was, it was women. Like, only Good women emotion. downloaded the music. The men were not even. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, the men it's were terrible. Like, you know, it, 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 I was trying to tell him like we were at the mall because like you know I'm not trying to bring this into it, but like you know, stocky dude, you know, what I'm black saying? guy, you know, white I'm guy, guy approaching man. people, and I'm coming and up. It made sense. I'm coming up behind him. You know, I'm just like coming up beside him. You know, real quick, and it's like if it was me and somebody approached me, you know, it's, I get it, but at the same time, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't understand like you know that's the art. That's the whole art of it, you know. And, and if you're talking about like, oh, support your local artist, man, nigga, support your art. Come on, support your artist right yeah. there. Yeah, so that's it. You know, that exactly. is it. That's a lost art for sure. The, mm-hmm. uh, we for that. sure grinded to get number eighty-eight. Oh, yeah. It wasn't given to us. We, yeah. we definitely, uh, we definitely did, did some persuasion, did some grind for, for sure. I feel like if for that night, it was it was definitely an eye-opening like like blessing. You know, even if we didn't make you know eighty-eight, it still would have been a blessing. So how does that but work? You did. <laughs> it's impressive. I don't. First of all, the fact that you kind of went back to the the old school marketing or guerrilla marketing, where you're on the streets, you're putting your personality with the music. We need to go back to that because how many people put out tracks every week? A million. Nobody knows who the face is. Five thousand are submitted daily. Damn. 65,000 songs are being put out every single day. So every single day that we put a song out, every time we put a song out, we know that we're competing with 65,000. For sure. So out of that 65,000, we were top 100. That was pretty cool. So you go out there and you ask, so it's based on number of downloads for that week? It's based on number of pre-orders and then also streams of the first two uh, first day first two days. Oh, okay. So when you were and uh, you were asking people to download it, that was part of the pre-order. So I already knew we had a bunch of pre-orders. Like I was pushing it really heavy, and, and it's a good song. I knew we had a bunch, but I like if if you want if you want a chart, I knew that we probably needed two hundred more. I was like, man, I think we need two hundred more. Let's just go out and just let's just try to like manhandle people, just make them download. It right here and i'm going to give them a dollar and at worst case scenario we get 200 people uh we don't hit itunes but we get 200 fucking people that are going to be listening to our music now but it, we only got like 30 that night it was i thought it was an epic fail and i was hustling my hardest it, it was, and i went it, home it, like it, man it, i don't think i'm gonna hit 100 on this one and i woke up we hit 88 and i was like oh we tried to climb and climb but man you can look at those names we were the only independent artist on that chart that day yeah, and that's what was key. That was for me was a huge win that I sat back and listened. I thought about at the very, at the very end of it and the names. The only independent artist that day to chart. Yeah, that's definitely what makes the story kind of like a underdog, uh, a win, and yeah. a hustle behind it. So tell me a little bit about um, 
I guess both of you individually, and then we'll talk about, you know, how you came together to work on this track. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll let the rock star go first. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been doing my thing, you know, for a minute. I'll play. No, I've been uh, I've been making music for a hot minute, you know, playing guitar since probably like 13, 14. Uh, you know, I make my own beats, you know, FL Studio. That's my that's my queen. Uh, one of my queens, whatever. But, uh, uh, you know, I make my own beats, all that, you know. But, you know, speaking back to like when we first met, you know, for example, and everything, you know, I feel like a lot has changed, you know, musically just because when I first came out, it was so it was just so raw and original. You know, just me. It was just me, and now it's just it, it comes so it comes so naturally again. You know, before you get so caught up in a rat race, trying to rap better, trying to do this, just like he was saying. You know, like there are you know what was it again? How many people? Sixty five thousand songs man. uploaded every single day. Come on, man, that's a lot to compete with. You know, and it's like at the end of the day, you know, I'm trying to get on Disney just like anybody else that's smart you know that's 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 my goal you know i want music to bring me financial success that's my mantra you know so you know a lot uh, definitely a lot has changed you know from when we first met and everything but, where'd y'all first meet you know, uh lucas lucas and so, uh, you were you know, back in the day i think it was like 2021 um i was in fort myers to, to visit a, a couple friends um from a uh, we were there for a funeral and um i was whenever i find an artist that i feel like has potential but maybe has doesn't have the direction i try to set them up to at least have all the tools to you know tools and advice to, to yeah. get going and you know it sometimes it sticks sometimes it doesn't but either way i'm i'm giving the tools to to somebody yeah um, yeah. So that's why I was there. Um, it was kind of just like an extra day that I had. Um, but that's how we met. And then he took me to the studio and that's where I met you. And then I met um, the other. Jordan. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's how we met. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. How about you, Philip? So uh, I just started doing music about two years ago, kind of tripped and fell into it. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Literally right before TikTok was like uh musically right. No, no, I I didn't start that. I started like two years ago. TikTok was about to be taken away by Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, man, I would love to. Be, I, I, I've always wanted to be in the music. I just want to. I, I wrote a parody on TikTok. It was uh, by remember the song Luke Combs, Beautiful Crazy. Mm -hmm. I did a parody. I called it Beautiful Scrubby because COVID yeah. was happening. Right. Uh, and I got, so I got like, at the time I had no followers, none, 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 none. I'm talking not even a thousand on, Inst not even a thousand on Facebook, 200 on Instagram, none on TikTok. I put this out. I got like 500 comments on it. It wasn't even views, maybe like 3000 views. Like, Oh, you kind of sound like Luke Combs. You kind of, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to write a song. So I just like looked in the, went to the, uh, went to the phone book, found a studio near my house, went there, asked him if he could recreate this beat and do this song. And I did it. I did the song, and right when I was about to be done, it wasn't finished yet. President Trump, it was September 4th, I think. President Trump was like, I'm shutting it down, and blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you the biggest bad. I was like, whatever, man. I'm going to put the song out. It's, I'm just going to put it out, not even ready. Like, it wasn't meant, yeah. it wasn't even mastered. I uh, went and uh, went to Landor. Like, I had to go to Landor just to get it mastered real quick and put it out. Like, man, because if I don't put it out yeah. and it's going tomorrow, TikTok's yeah. on, boom, boom, boom. Damn. And TikTok wasn't gone tomorrow, and I did put the song out, and wow. I did post it. And I gained like twenty thousand followers. That's crazy. And I was like, "Wow, what's this? Twenty thousand followers? People that like my music, which I've only been doing music for like a week here. <laughs> like, yeah, what's that's going wild. on here?" That's and then I started, and then yeah. it just it just grew from there, and then got to a point where I just was like, "You know what? I'm going to quit my career. I'm going to put 110 percent of the music and see where it goes." Oh, you put your grind in ever since, and then. uh I'm from Kentucky, uh -huh. and I was moving to Florida because my child's mother wanted to move to Florida because uh -huh. her parents live here, and my daughter wanted to move here. So I was like, all right, we're going to move to Florida now that I can, I don't have a career, and I'm doing music. Yeah. So I came here, and then on the first night where I was, uh, I did this open mic night here just trying to check out the scenery, and I met this DJ, and I met this producer, and then I met John Stella. 
So I was like, cool. I like his music. I like his swag. I met a producer that I liked. I met a DJ I like. I was like, man, all right, cool. I'm an out of towner. I got no one in Fort Myers. Found a little click, and then I found people kind of like me. Right. So I was able to meet him. Like a rock and then, star. Yeah, like he's a he's a rock star. And I did I did a show, yeah, and I asked him if he wanted it. to come do a show with me. Um, he did one. He definitely was like a rock star on that yeah. one. And then uh, after I did that show, I was like, man, we should do a song. I think we we wrote we wrote one before, which yeah, is still in, the works, still in the works, but it didn't go. It, it it's still pending. Yeah, we still got But this one, yeah, like when we did Simon Says, I sent him a beat. He was like, I, he's like, I like that one. And then yeah, I sent him yeah, Simon yeah. Says. He's like, all right, I don't like the first one. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I was like, cool. I was like, man, I'm thinking of a song like Simon Says. It's going to be catchy. Everyone's going to know, or we're going to make it sexual. Like it's going to be like Simon Says do this. Yeah. He's like, I like where you're going. Do that. And, uh, and that's where the concept came. That's where it got from. And yeah. Here we are. So I was in the car with my daughter. She's nine. And uh, we it's love. Really the deal. <laughs> we Has, she heard... Has your daughter heard my song yet, though? Yes. And she probably loves it, doesn't she? She does. So we love Big Time Rush. And, you know, Lucas knows this. We went VIP and we met them and everything. And the track, and I take this as a huge compliment. It resonated with her very much so because it's like on the same vibe and that kind of music is very, um, it's very fresh right now, especially with the ladies. 13 year olds, bet. Like high school, bet. It's going to be a prom, you know, all of those kinds of situations where it, it's, a, it's a perfect balance of there's not like a bunch of F words and a bunch of, you know, things like that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a more, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a more cleaner version, yeah. but definitely a lot of innuendos. Exactly. Yeah. I'll, definitely, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll quote, I'll quote him for this. I'll quote Philip Good for this. Um, you know, you definitely don't need to use, there's, there's other ways to say things besides the F word or, yeah. you know, you know, this or that, you know, there's other ways to express it, you know, and, you know, I definitely, you know, picked that up from him, you know, when, you know, so you say the F word, you got to think about 50% don't like the F word. So 50% already telling you, I ain't going to listen to him yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of, lot, of, lot of rappers and people say the word B-I-T-C-H where I'm just like, you're just yeah. alien that you're, 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 you're taking off 50% of the market right there. And honestly, I'd probably say more than that because women drive this market music yeah. period. Yeah. And a man, you 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 let a man listen to us to my song. He'll say oh, that's a cool song, and he may listen to it again. Every age you let a life. list a, a woman listen to my song, she's already texted twelve of her friends. Mm-hmm. She's asked me where my merch is and asked me when the next show is. Yep. And I want to well, add another layer to that. Um, we can't play it in cars when we're driving our kids to school if it has the if it has bitch if it has fuck. Yeah. Right. Um, I find out a lot of times that my daughter knows the lyrics to like. Uh, um, Nicki Minaj songs from her friend, so I'm like, oh my god! So I, sh- and, you know, I politely shut that down. But this, I, I, we can put on her playlist, and I feel comfortable. I just don't let her read the lyrics. But I mean, right. you still, it, it's so you open up yourself to a whole, a huge audience. Um, yeah. This is like a uh, when we're getting ready for the club. Let's put this on to get, you know, pregame. Yeah. This is um, road trip this is um it it can go on playlist for a new um, house you're celebrating you know this is this is celebration song i also told them too like we were doing like who knows let's say let's say for instance song doesn't do as good but we got the word simon says in it Mm -hmm. i mean it's a marketable song too sync licensing is is an opportunity Mm -hmm. you know there's just a lot of opportunities when you kind of write a specific and we wrote we really did I, i like when i write a song i don't say all right cool i wrote this song all right, cool. When I'm writing a song, what am I writing about? What, who am I writing it for? Who is going to like it? What's the audience? Am I going to be able to make a challenge or is it going to be a TikTok dance to it? Like there's there's things now that you got to honestly really, really think about. Oh, definitely. Sure. Yeah. So how do you feel about the, um, the how TikTok and, and uh, you know, having that being a focus now before when it used to not be like, you know, you put out music. Um, but you don't have to wonder if somebody's going to pick it up on TikTok and make a dance for it. Um, how do you it's, feel about that? Do you feel like positive, negative? How do you feel? 100%, about that? Like, here's why I tell everyone about this Facebook before it had, I mean, this because Facebook got reels now, Instagram got reels, and yeah, that's still new. But before that, if you put a song out on Facebook or anything out on Facebook, it only went to your followers. 
Same thing with Instagram. It only went to your followers. Same thing with your Snapchat. Only went to people that are following you. When I I only picked, I, and I was late in TikTok, but I picked it up two years ago. But what I found out was when you put a TikTok out, you have a chance to go out to everyone, yeah. not your followers. Yeah. And that's what you have a fair chance every single video on TikTok to go millions. And that's why I like TikTok. And only I would say the only reason people listen to my music was because of TikTok Respect. at first. Respect. To jump on that, you know, like for a minute and even when we first met, you know, because we've known each other for a while. Like we, you know, just to touch on following real quick, you know, we met each other at, you know, uh, Best Fest, you know, a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like when, that's right. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. When we did, you we know, did a show back in Best Fest. Summer and everything like that. Like we went to, we went to Orlando, Best Believe and all that. That's where we met him the first time, you know, and then all that blah, 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 you know, fate. Uh, but when we were talking about um, TikTok and everything, I was always like, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'm good. Like, I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know if it was that, like, arrogant mentality or ignorant mentality, whatever it was. I just didn't want to do it, like, because I, I, we were just talking about it, you know. A lot of the time, like, I get it, you know, we're artists, you know, we're, we're centered, you know. Sometimes we don't want to, you know, express ourselves like that to other people, and it's scary. And I completely understand that. I completely get it. And then, on the other hand, I get that, you know, it is a job. It is a job. But then at the at the same time, do you want your music to just do you want to just come out with album after album after album, you know, not promote it? And, you know, just like he was saying, you know, not have, have any following except for, you know, the people that you're barely, you know, you know, interacting with and you're not even interacting with them. Basically, what I'm saying is, you know, before I wasn't with it. Now I'm like, look, I love TikTok. <laughs> I love it. I, lo I, you know, I go up on there. I do hashtag John Stella. You know, I got thousands of thousands. And I'm like, I, I, I didn't I, even know. I keep telling him to stay I consistent since he since he's honestly been listening and and actually he's on it now. I, you can see the growth already on there. Yeah, and he, and, he, and that's the thing with, with Facebook. Like, and if you're not utilizing Reels, you're posting on Facebook. Just the people that have. Facebook. Already, yeah. already not liked your stuff mm -hmm. a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Facebook. Well, oh, I love Facebook now. 100%. I, mean, I, mean, I just started. I just got in love with Facebook. Yeah. Facebook Reels is they just push your stuff out way yeah. better right now. Oh, yeah, I guess I get a lot. More you know, they're trying. They're trying to compete with TikTok and Instagram Reels, even though they are Instagram. They're trying to compete. So, a, they're paying way more than any platform is paying, and yeah. b, they're giving you incentive for posting. You know, you post, they're gonna they're gonna boost you. Yeah, and they just I, and. Four months, I've gained ninety thousand followers in four months on Facebook, and I all I've done was just post washed off TikToks. Oh, and this is before this song, right? Huh? The TikToks. Well, yeah, this is before this song. I've already, yeah, I've had a lot of followers for this song. I I got a bunch on TikTok. Yeah. That's, that's so dope. So, um, so how did you realize that you know people put out songs all the time, but the whole the whole uh aspect of promoting and marketing that's a loss on a lot of artists um how did you well, here, here, here's why i knew simon says was gonna hit, and this is gonna be a little bit cocky, but it's true it is. um yeah. so my i for, for two years my itunes and my apple id had to be linked to an author so my links would never work never work whoever would pre-save them they would never go would say out of this country this was the first time that I was, I got it fixed. And Apple said, "Hey, I put you in a category. I took you off the offer. We finally fixed it." And I told him, "I was like, bro, I haven't had the opportunity to chart because I'm telling you, my iTunes. I've got us to a point. Let's get the song out, and we will get 500 to a thousand pre-orders." So I knew the song we would, but, but I probably, I probably should have charted a bunch of times before, but I wasn't able to. So. I think what's great about that though is this song is a banger, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, all of it happened, it all lined up and to it. it. And I knew it was a great song, that perfect song, and it's just bam. Let's no, but one other reason too is uh, you put a lot of songs out. A lot of people, and what I've learned to only I don't really care. I don't want people to pay for features. I don't want to do none of that stuff. I told them straight up, I don't really like featuring. We got stuck as a feature on this song because I wasn't able to add another artist as a co one on Distro Kid. 
Oh, and uh, that's it, from the it was, I was trying. I was trying to do it co, but it wouldn't allow me because I've already had two co songs on. He had to pay like extra money. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'll just put it out as a feature. Or you're still collecting all the benefits. We're still going to chart. But I knew. I knew it was, it was a good enough song to hit. I did too. I did too. Like I was right after we got that last mix, I said this should be on the radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, absolutely. You know the fact that you know I got number eighty eight. That we got number eighty eight. You know what I'm saying? Cheers. That's, that's that's the biggest accomplishment in my musical career so far, yeah. you know, and you know definitely hundred percent, you know. So I I'm, I'm definitely blessed with that, you know, for sure. And it's early for both y'all. And your good advice when yeah. you panhandle people for pre-orders, go for women. Oh yeah, I was going up to thugs. I don't care. You yeah. know, I'm sure they thought I was about to do something, but it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like if they really care, if they really understand, they're gonna be. And they did. Some of them did. Like you know, they would give us you know or whatever. One one person. They were like, my phone's broken. But the dude said his phone was like, his phone's broken. And I was like, one dude was talking to us English. And then yeah. all of a sudden, after like three minutes, he's like, oh, sorry, no English. I'm like, what? Yeah. what? You know, you're cool. You could have just said no. Like, you could have wasted my, like, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah, have to waste on, my three man. minutes. Like, but this yeah. is a different campaign. Isn't when it? you think of music, you think of people like Post Malone. Justin Bieber, Kid Leroy, we were Bag and Trainer at Dell. We were right we were there. there. We were, we're there. Was, like, we were, we were, I'm, I'm one of them now. We were shipping tea with pink. You know what I mean? My point is, is like, it's so easy to, you know, in this music industry to think that you should be handed everything to you just because you're doing this and you're doing that. But now nah, you got to put yourself out there. You, This is a brand. This is a brand. You know, he, he's been working on this for a minute. You know, I've been working on this for a minute, you know, like, and we're going to keep on working, you know. So it's like everyone has, you know, artists have to remember that, you know, it sucks. It sucks sometimes. And I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say I might not, you know, post a video or two for a day or whatever. It is, but now, now you learn a process and you know what it takes and you know how many it takes and you know what to do. So now you just develop a process and yeah. consistency is key. So every song. As long as you have a campaign, as long as you have a process, you have to do. You have a fair chance of hitting the iTunes charts every time now. So I've been working in music and uh, music PR slash promotions for at least the last ten years, and that's yeah. something that I tell okay. everybody, but nobody believes. Me. You know, the um, the thought process is my music is good. If my music is good, people will find it, which is not the case. Uh, you have to let people know, and you guys, Philip, you you have it down. Sounds like like you gotta figure out ways that are different to get people to pay attention. Like you can't just um it's get quicker apply. and quicker. Yeah, you can't just apply to play it. It's changing right now. Yeah, no, this is great. This is like a a new wave of uh you know artists that really know what they're talking about. So. Yeah, especially if you want to be independent, you know, like yeah. especially if you want to be independent, be independent. Do your do do your homework. Do what you got to do. You know, get your publishing right. Do everything that you got to do. You know, get your catalog right. What uh, what what kind of promotion? What do you do? Have like a playlist? What do you have? So right now I have a well, I have the blog. So my blog gets like one million uh, active daily users. Uh, you. Well, say it again. Really. You, you kind of say it all nonchalantly, really? like oh, trying to throw it. She tried to throw it, she tried to throw it in there, like it was. It was a, you know. Yeah. No, it, I just kind of like, like. So I'm I'm part of this program with Microsoft. I'm a partner creator. So basically, anything I post on my blog gets syndicated out to all of their um, million uh, daily active users. So you know, it depends on if they pick if the user is like, oh, I like this, is interesting or whatever. So I use that as a major, I, I write regular articles just that are interesting, but I also write for um, musicians that I believe in for free yeah. because, you know, I, I don't really believe in having people pay me to, you know, do that because then it's not, for me, it's not genuine. Um, so my process on my end is to, you know, have this recorded, um, come out with, with um, using this interview have a very, you know, tied in article, have video clips already already set up to where I publish the the article. They're able to go to the YouTube page. They're able to see the clips. They're able to, to see all of that. And yeah. um, you know, 
you know, I just pick up these, um, I just create relationships with anyone who picks up anything up from any music I, you know, promote to them. Yeah. And, uh, you got the right sound, you, you know, I, I love it. And I think, um, we harmonize, we, we harmonize real good. With that a good one. job. We, we, yeah. we really... You've been in music for two years, two years, two years. Shit, bro. You, you, did you, have you I just it? ran, you I was, I was in the core business for a long time. So I understand, I understand business side of everything and I understand okay. numbers, I understand sales right. and I understand really, don't get me wrong. 15% is the music. It's got to be a good song, but other than that is marketing, who you know, who you like, networking with the right people, you know, pitching it yourself, not being afraid to say, hey, listen to my music, not being afraid to post your music, even if the video looks stupid, because some of the people are going to like it. So I've just been grinding and just and just learning. And then recently I just got a, man, I got a manager and he, he's taught me a, even hey, bless way up. more, bless up. way more. Bless so. Up. But what's crazy about who it is and all that, it's just everything comes full circle. Yeah. It does. It really, it really does. But we also got another song we're working on called Yeah, Yeah. 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 Um, you ever you ever just like been around someone and uh, you know they're they're talking, I did this and you know they're lying, you're just like, Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it's about. It's, it's, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like that's, nice. you're a model, you're a model, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Good yeah. job. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, right. All right. You, you, you Instagram, okay, yeah, yeah. We uh we <laughs> We did the vocals, we did the track, and yeah. then uh, it's got it's got to be it's got to be mixed though. Yeah, beat up, made yeah, he made everything. He made the full beat, uh, so and good. then actually, I made him go behind it and add guitar and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I think we should put the guitar in there. Yeah. So the beat is complete. No, is no samples or anything. No, not like that. No, no not like that. I did it all. Different scratch. I See, I wish I could do that. I, don't, I can't make. I can. I can do a little bit of shit, but I can't. Engineer and produce a whole beat. He can. I can. And if you don't know, I got. I got to plug this one to him. A little girl. Um, she did a song with me, and it 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 went viral, and it got me a bunch of streams, and and a lot of people know me from this song, which is cool. Um, but she, I I I made her go do her own song, find myself. It just came out. So if you get a chance, it's called Special by Elena Hart. Okay. Yeah, but you know what we should do? My daughter's also nine. She can have them interview each other <laughs> oh yeah i'll do it yeah because yeah because she's got a song out there she did good like our song on our youtube video uh -huh. three hundred thousand plus it's got over a million what? it's got over a million streams what so what? It's, yeah and, and oh, cute. yeah because my dog she, yeah, yeah, look, she can't have she can't have a real youtube so she got a kid's youtube and uh, i went on live and i got her 100 subscribers and she's like the happiest girl i got 113 <laughs> I got 113, and she's been doing the dumbest videos yeah. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, guys, this is how I fold my pants. This is, gonna go this is how I open this box. It's, I it's, got this face mask. Check this out. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, that would be super cute because my daughter. No, yeah, let's let hey, let's make that happen. Your daughter interview my daughter. I like it. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Um. All right. Final plugs. You got your socials. Let's let's hear it. So look good music on all social. Also, I got a new song coming out on iTunes. Please go uh, go to iTunes Store. Type in Philip Good more time. Click the pre-order. Um, also, Philip Good on iTunes, Spotify. All right. All right. So yeah. So you can find me John on Instagram underscore John underscore Stella. So just John Stella. Just Look me up on Instagram, and then same thing, Spotify, Apple Music, John Stella. Um, you know, since he said it, I'll say the same thing too. You know, I'm dropping a song every month, every month and a half, give or take something like that. Uh, but yeah, John Stella, every platform. Uh, follow me on TikTok, John Stella. You know, it's it's, it's pretty simple, just John Stella. It's John. On every single social media platform, just type in John Stella. At John Stella. So, and I got a new song coming out in March. Here we go. Thank you, guys. It's great to meet you. Great to see you. Um, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. All right. Yes, appreciate it. Appreciate All right. It. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Bye.